Our new pharaoh, Snofru, is determined that this, the fourth dynasty, be remembered as the greatest ever to rule Egypt. Pharaoh wishes that our borders be pushed even further south. He has therefore decreed that we invade Nubia and establish a fortified city at Buhen, beside the second cataract of the Nile. There you must also erect a granite obelisk to serve as a beacon that this area forever belongs to Egypt and to Pharaoh. There is no granite to be found so far south, however, so you will need to import it from Abu. At Buhen, you will encounter fierce and seasoned Nubian warriors who will fight to the death to prevent us from establishing a foothold so far south. Do not despair, for after vigorous training at a military academy, your fighting men may emerge as seasoned veterans themselves. What's more, our military engineers have perfected the design of several defensive structures, such as fortified towers, walls, and gatehouses. These will prove invaluable in withstanding the onslaught of the Nubian army. Transport ships may also be employed to aid in moving your army around by water when necessary. To the north, we have opened relations with Enkomi on the island of Cyprus. This land is named for its abundant reserves of copper ore, which we are now able to purchase from them. However, thanks to a recently established Egyptian mining community at Serebet Kadim in the land of Sinai, we are able to supply our governors with copper at a much more affordable price. Supplies from Serebet Kadim are often erratic due to unrelenting Bedouin and Canaanite attacks against the settlement, and we are uncertain how much longer the Egyptian forces stationed there can hold out. Pharaoh's burial place, a unique and spectacular spectacular monument is currently under construction at Tashur. From time to time, Pharaoh may request that you contribute some limestone to aid in the completion of this project. Hello and welcome back to Pharaoh A New Era. We are here at Buhin. Boy, there is a lot to unpack in this, huh? So we got military, we got Pharaoh's gonna request things, we got transport, they talked about transporting troops, um, they talked about building a monument here like we need a lot so let's take a look we got population of 3000 culture rating 25 monument rating a nine prosperity rating of 25 and a king rating of 75 so that tell you right there that 75 is we're gonna have a lot of requests from us uh, from pharaoh and other cities probably and a small obelisk let's pause and zoom out first of all let's take a look at our services over here all right we have pretty much everything we've had before for food, we have chickpea, barley, and hunting. All right, everything there. Production, we have gold. There is a little bit of gold. We can only get so much. That's going to get us through in, the, through in the beginning. We're not going to think be able to use the south side over here, though. Limestone. Now, we have jewelers, brickworks, weaver, brewery, potter, papyrus. Religion, we have Seth and Taff. Seth being our primary god. So we have no bast... And no Osiris spam. So that means our Nile is going to be kind of trash. And we can't use Bass uh, blessings to just keep all the other gods happy. So for military, we have, of course, Warship to Transport Wharf. Uh, military Academy, Recruiter, Archers Infantry. And now we also have Gatehouses, Towers, and Walls. So I'm used to how those work in the original Pharaoh. I haven't played around with them in this one yet. For monuments, we just have a small obelisk. Now, <clears throat> I do want to say that this requires 100 granite to make. Like you see, I can't make it. You have to have 100 granite to make the dang thing and then finish it up. So if you wait forever to uh, start on that, you're going to be hurting there. Entertainment's the same. All right, let's look at the map. We have a, we've already talked about that. We have plenty of rocks, but we have a little bit of uh, copper or not copper gold here. I'm sorry. Plenty of stone up top. A little bit of Nile here. Some ostriches there. Ostriches there. A little bit of meadow farming over here. All right. Let's take a look at our world map. We're down here at Buhin. We have Selma Oasis right next to us as a land trade route. They will buy beer and pottery. Um, let's see here. They'll sell us wood. We're going to need wood, so that's good. They're going to be selling us wood. Abu will sell us granite. So... 
it takes 100 granite to make that monument, right? And they're only going to sell 15 a year. So you, you got to start importing that ASAP because if you wait a couple years in, it's just more you're going to be attacked, more demands, more everything. And you're basically going to be sitting there. So we're going to try to get that going ASAP. Um, also, they will uh, buy pottery and papyrus. Uh, Sarabit Kadim is still the same. We're going to well, sell no. Well, any of these actually, I didn't look. Abu, is it still just copper from them? Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need copper because we're gonna have to have an army. This is somewhat of a military mission as well. All right, they will sell us clay. They will give a, we can buy, sell beer. You notice uh, beer is kind of the <laughs> repeating thing in all this. So beer, 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 copper. It's a lot, it's a big trade route. Um, so yeah, we're going to get beer farming going and we're just gonna sell beer to all of Egypt. Like, that's how we're going to make money, I think, because I'm not even going to worry about food here. I'm just going to do beer because our, our inundation is going to be trash. So it's just going to be beer, 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 beer. And then um, we're going to we're going to eat ostrich. So, all right, let's get started. Um, I am going to start here on the south side with my main city and I'm going to have production over here. There's just not enough room over here to set everything up. And um, we really don't need a whole lot of all that. So... First, we're going to start over here, away from the Kingdom Road. We do need our ferry landing in. So we'll put that in. I think we're going to put the dock right here, and then I'll put like a ship right over here. We'll see. But for now, we'll have that. Let's see. I think I'm going to go three. Start right here. Down five. Over three. Let me make sure that'll work. It will. Awesome. So... This here it's one two three all right and this should be seven and then up 17 cross eight finish that loop out all right i think i'm gonna have this come off here like so one two three four and then let's see here if we're going to connect to that. Hmm. Let's see here. So if I wanted to go. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's one, two, three. That looks good. I will have a little bit of leeway in there. Not going to do a whole lot on this side. Just going to set up some basic stuff. Get that, that, that. And then that means our food will be there. So we'll start over here. Um, yep, so... Same as usual. So I think this mission is just going to be, you're going to spin up in a hurry and then it's just going to be doing missions from Pharaoh pretty much. And then um, we should be relatively good to go. Unpause that for a second, get some of those people spawned. I think the difference in the way you build or like having um, people move in is that if a game is paused, they don't, it doesn't spawn the walkers to walk to the houses. And then if um, like if you're playing and you're building houses, it's not an issue. Uh oh, that was the wrong thing. Is what I can tell. That makes sense. So basically, if you build all the houses when it's paused, nobody spawns yet. So they'll just move in kind of willy nilly. But if you do it while it's unpaused, they will um, move in in the right order. But I usually like to try to min max the beginning a lot because I feel uh, some missions especially set you up. All right, well, unpause that for a second, get some people spawned. All right, that should be good to start with. Let's go. Um, all right. So if I'm going to come into the Nile right there, I want to roadblock that. 
which tells me I need to come down this way. I don't think that's right. You know when you do something you're like, yeah, I don't think that's right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not. You can tell just by looking at it. It's like that doesn't look right. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Um, let's see here. I believe it is. I wanted to do a. I believe that is correct. Let's take a look. Just weaving that line in there so I can get the ship right in. Awesome. And we're going to put our dock right over here, which awesome. It works. All right. Now that we have a lot of people moving in, there we go. And you get them some jobs. So let's just finish this out. Really, sometimes the roads in this are very finicky, I feel, compared to the other Pharaoh game. But, alright, we have all that in. Let's... Um, I think that's 9, 18, 7, 17. Alright. And, of course, I misclick. Alright, let's get these in. Here, like so. And then, get... The firehouse. Uh, Doc's gonna go there. One, two. Might try multiple docks in this mission, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Because it looks like there's a spot made for it. And that was wrong. Alright. So we have that. We're gonna have to ship right there. This guy's gonna walk that. Doki, I'm just going to have him walk that for now. All right, so we need a palace early because we're going to work on gold. Put that right there. Very first thing is money, 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 money. So can't do anything without that. Looks like it's just three there. Ah, oh, hey, I can get one on the other side. Cool. I did not notice that in testing. So that's four mines right there. And let's see. We're going to mine some stone up here as well. So we'll leave some space for that. We can't actually use it or sell it. <laughs> so we can only just send it to Pharaoh pretty much. All right, do that. Let's throw down an architect's post. You know what we forgot over here? We forgot our health. Physician and our god. Yep, it is set. Okay. And let's put in a shrine right there. So we're already, remember your patron is 375 for a temple, and we're almost already there. Let's get some more people coming in, please. It's going to be pretty easy to bring them up to the food stage, because it's ostriches. So, we only really need one, probably one granary for that. Awesome. Hey, that worked out nicely. So, 
Let's put our... There we go. Firehouse. Architect's post. Right now, I don't want you walking that way. Let's put... Hunting. Let's put four of them right there. Gotta wait for him to get rid of that ostrich out of there. There we go. All right. Put on our bazaars. It's our employment, 59. We are making gold. Let's get some more over here. I always like to start, like, as far as way. Hopefully as possible. I think that might be it, though. Looks like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do eight for now. So, and then irrigation, even though it's on the Nile, um, you can just put irrigation ditches in. And as long as it touches, it counts as irrigated. Which is um, what we want. So now you can see this is not irrigated, it's 94%. It is irrigated, it's 99%. Obviously it hasn't been farmed yet, but um, yeah, it should work. So I'm actually, what's my unemployment? 72? I will put down, um, whoops. Put down a couple work camps here. One, two, uh, that's eight, three. We'll put down three. There we go. A blessing from Seth. Seth approves of your fear and obedience, and so will strike down some of the next enemies you dare violate your city. Yeah, that reminds me to get my military going. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> so, uh, still just trying to farm. We got our housings building up over here. Let's, we're going to have our harvest here soon. I had to redo the farms a bit. You come in this way, and just to make sure everything's irrigated. I want to overproduce the living daylights out of here. So first of all, let's go ahead and throw down our recruiter. Doesn't really matter. It's a ton. We can put that there. And then let's see here. If I go up three, four, five, and connect that in. Let's see here, how can we? Well, you know, have to do that and then do that. So they can still get through. All right, so we have a recruiter, and let's do our academy, which is quite large. I'm gonna put that right there. And this. This little area here. Go ahead and put a firehouse. Architect's post. And then a... Yeah, we'll just put that roadblock there. That should work. It's going to go like that and he'll come back around. Awesome. Don't have none of that. Okay, our harvest is getting there. So let's... Now we have more people moving in. Let's finish up our military. So we can throw down some archers for now. That is a thousand. Hmm. All right, that's gonna wait because I gotta do, I gotta build up a uh, brewery first. So let's do brewery. All right.
Got eight of those. And then storage yard. I'm gonna have to move that road. All right, so for now, we'll just do this for accept all beer. And for this one, we'll accept all barley. Just so they have a place to go. There we go. We went from all of that to nothing. Let's go to our world map. Oh, we're down here. Anybody else? Oh, everybody, I just gotta open a water trade route. Alright, let's sell a little bit of beer, get a dock in. Oh, geez, they want eight limestone, 24 months. Okay, we can do that. That is easy. Let's go to our resources over here limestone. One, two, Three. That should be plenty. I think that's just a taste to come to say, hey, if you haven't gotten this going yet, you might want to do it. All right, we'll put this down right there. And we're just going to tell it, I want you to only take limestone. How many do they want? Eight? 24 months? I think we should be good. Looks like they produce one a month. Yeah, we should be good. All right. All right, we have our first bit of beer coming in. We're already selling. Um, let's throw in our dock right there. We'll go to the world map. What's the next closest place that buys beer? That's the cheapest. Made him. All right, 900. Can't really do too much about that. Let's make a little bit more beer. All right. And I did tell these down here. What's going on over here? Why aren't you? All right. I haven't gotten any blessings recently. So let's see. We have 1,500 people and we have two temples here and then two shrines. So that is not nearly enough before Seth starts getting mad. Let's put another one of those in. Put another one of those. In. We'll put one more. And hopefully. No. But hopefully they'd evolve. Let's see your gardens. Let's go ahead and not forget about Pharaoh and send our limestone that he wanted. We're still continuing it. Got a company of archers going. They're being trained. Um by the academy. Seth did say he's going to kill the next people that come in, so that'll be nice. Our house is going okay. We're going to start importing clay. Let's take a look at our overseer over here. I'm importing to maintain granite. I want to get a hundred of it, so I put some storage yards down to accept it. Um, we are exporting all of our beer. I'm trying to import clay, and I think I need to start with copper as well, because it's. I don't want to make the mistake that I did in the last mission, to where I did not import the things until it was too too late basically and then i uh, was kind of messed up on that so we're gonna just go ahead and expand out this way because it's, it's fine to import to maintain say 800 oh what's this pharaoh wants limestone well here you go working on being the brewing capital of egypt here we are providing the whole world with beer all trade routes lead to the pub house, right? So I figured we have plenty of money now. So let's go ahead and throw in our temple complex here. This will provide 8,000 um, coverage to Seth, basically. So we don't really need to worry about him anymore. So I'll go ahead and actually get rid of those right there and put in a couple more to Taff. Because he is not happy. So that's... Uh, well, how many is that? That's 3,000 right there. Plus 375. So 3,375 coverage for Taff right now. So I think we're good. He'll he'll start getting happy here in a second. 
An Egyptian city is under attack. Oh, rural mayor Adam, your troubles are still not over. For a Serb Kadim, an Egyptian city is under attack and needs your help. You should dispatch troops within eight months. So I already have my uh, transport wars over here. I do only have two full contingents of people, but let's whoops, let's take a look. Let's go ahead send you. Right, the leopards. Let's send you. Let's send you. It's five is six, but why not? Let's send you as well. We're as dangerous as a crocodile, ready to attack our invaders when they arrive. Does it not need? I guess it's a land troop. I thought that, uh. Huh. I thought that I'd need transport wharves to bring them there. Is Sarabit Kadim a land route? No, it's... Yeah, it is a land route. Oh, okay. So I guess I didn't need it. I guess if I need to send it to someplace else, I would need transport wharves. Well, I might have built those for nothing, but uh, I guess they'll just sit there. All right, excellent. Since we sent that limestone for the uh, Pharaoh's project, um, Abu now would trade even more granite. So it was 15. Um, I'm working on importing some second food here. Just because I have the money and why not? Except all chickpea, except all fish. Alright, now let's take a look and see what Abu. Oh, it was it was uh, 15, now it's 25. That is very good. So hopefully now that will definitely. Three, six, nine. Okay, we're gonna need. Yep, no, we're good. We got four. So we need a hundred, but um, that's we can only hold thirty-two per storage yard. Fantastic. We are making tons and tons of beer. Just waiting on more people to come buy it. Added some more forts up here, and the city is doing quite nice. We've already received chickpeas. Oh, there we go. Seth remembers his promise and will protect your troops in the battle to come. Whatever the result, your soldiers come back safe to the city. I like that graphic there. Oh, Royal Mayor. Great misfortune has befallen the troops. The Egyptian army was defeated at Sarabit Kadim. What? I mean, that's not good. What does Sarabit Kadim do? Oh, I guess they sell us copper. Well, now that I need it. But uh, I think that might... Maybe we took a hit on our kingdom rating for that. 64. We still can't do anything. Even if we buff this, we still couldn't do anything without... Um, without the help from uh, having the monument done. Not powerful enough to defeat the attackers has fallen to our enemies. Okay. Well, we still haven't been attacked yet. I guess I should have sent more troops. I sent two and a half... Academy trained uh, people, so I guess that was not enough. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it seems that since our army was not strong enough to help, um, our kingdom rating has fallen. So let's take a look at our kingdom rating now. Which is 49. That hurts. So let's uh, let's maybe go to our Price of gems and copper, that's okay. Maybe go to our political and send a gift of lavish gifts to Pharaoh up there. There we go, it gave us a plus 10 to our kingdom rating. A foreign army invades. All right, a Nubian army will be here in 24 months. We've had like 17 blessings from Seth to protect us and strike down enemies. So I think the army is going to get here. And they're just going to be vaporized. But we have... Um, let's take a look at just where we're tracking. We got four, four full contingencies. Let's go ahead and put... Um, two more infantry in. Since we sent um, 1,500 beer, they gave us a gift of 12 granite. Which is quite nice. So that means... We can get our monument in. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Doesn't need road access. But 
and roadblock there. So it takes a hundred to place it, and then once you've placed it, actually, pause this and go in there and say, "Don't buy any more." Well, doesn't pause, but don't buy any more granite. So now that we've placed it, they will come out and um, do scaffolding. Give me standing climbs. Good. They'll do scaffolding and then they will carve it up and that will give us our monument rating. So it works a little different than like pyramids and such. So let's check our overseer here. We have our 77 kingdom rating. I kept sending tons and tons of goods. We're almost at our housing. The foreign army will invade in one month. So let's see how this is going to go. Seth remembers his promise to protect you and is delighted to slay those foolish enough to threaten your city. Go to battle. Uh, yeah, I, I think we won, guys. Good job. Somehow we still lost two infantry, even though we outnumbered him like 10 to 1, but OK. But yeah, they are carving this. And they are stonemason tearing it up there. So yeah, as soon as this is done, this mission should be completed. The obelisk is complete. Let's take a look at this. Very nice. Very nice. I think it's one of the better looking ones, uh, especially with the redone textures. So okay, we are meeting all requirements except for our population. So we only need like 140. Um, so yeah, you could try to upgrade that, or you could just cheese it. I don't really like to do this. We're just gonna... Cheese it like that a little bit. <laughs> Get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of people moving in. Just to come see the... They're, they're here to, uh, the see the new obelisk that's finished, right? We're just not gonna look up there. There we go, victory. Thanks to your skill, Egypt now claims part of Nubia as its own. Throughout the city you have established, you have demonstrated Egypt's strength, wealth, and grandeur. And to the conquering Nub Nubians. We only got attacked once. I think it was supposed to happen a lot more. We finished in 106 months. We had 25 culture, 16 on prosperity, 76 kingdom, and a 3005. Let's keep governing and just take a look at our city here. Um, everything, most of these houses here are usually common residences. It's always the issue with trying to import food. I'm, I have this set to import like 6,000 of each type of food. And I still just can't get enough to get my housing block to evolve. So it's always an issue unless you have people like multiple cities selling multiple types of food. I just can't ever get enough to import. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we uh, brewed a ton of beer. We ended up with 73,000. Debbins at the end. So yeah, guys, that was Buhin. Uh, all in all, is a pretty easy mission. Just get everything going as soon as possible, and then after that, you're just you should just be waiting on the granite to arrive. Honestly, these uh, transport wars were a waste, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time.